here we go. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to photograph some shoes. So, first of all, I have my trusty phone. I have a pair of shoes that need to be photographed. And let's see who we got here. All right, these are cool. I think we talked about these in our, these are Merrells. So. And I think we talked about one of these in our haul video. So, I'm going to run through my process here as I described earlier. First thing I'm going to do is photograph the number so I can identify it. Okay. And let's find it too. Alright, so it's Merrill's. So there's Merrill Prague Ankle Chucka Boots. That looks like it, but we'll confirm the number to make sure that we really have the right shoe. And $35.99, that's correct. So we'll just go ahead and open up the photography, but we'll close that down for now. We're going to go to our camera. Just forget about that for a minute. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of the chucker boots here with the number. I'm going to take one without the number. Take one. You can do these kind of top-down pictures sometimes just to kind of show that there's, they're not that bad and everything like that. So we'll do that. And... I will turn them around, hold a ruler up to show roughly how big this shoe is and how high the heel is. I do it on everything. You don't really have to, but it's just sort of a habit. It's easier if you get in the routine. And then one point to the right, one point to the left. And again on the next one. To the right, and I will do one pointing to the left. And if you mess up a little bit on the framing, don't worry about it. You can always crop it later, but you want to try to get it as close as possible so you don't have to do any post production work or very little anyway. All right now, I'll do the bottom of them so I stack them up like so. Okay, now we got to find a size in this thing. Now, I don't know if there is. Oh, actually, it's going to be pretty easy. All right, so in this one, the size is right there. No. And let's get this going here. I try not to get my finger in them. That's the one rule I have for myself. But sometimes you still do. That time I think we made it. All right. We'll do the same thing. I do both boots again because just to double check to make sure. Uh, get my finger out of there. The light to reflect just right there. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, and these kind of these are kind of big, so I can't really put them end to end as easy in here. So I'll just put them in side to side. They'll be they're pretty tough, so they'll be okay. They touch each other a little bit. And I'll tie this one off lightly, just because I'm going to have to open this up when I ship it. Because we ship it with paper, throw it in my bin. Okay, and while I'm wait, I'm, before I get um, to the next one, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my eBay app again here. And I'm going to go to select from gallery, in this case. I'm going to hit more so I can get more. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and take the last one I shot here. I'm going to start checking these off, the ones I want. And these are on my camera. They're not on eBay or anywhere right now. So we're getting ready to upload them. Okay. That's, okay. So that's everything that we want. We'll hit open, which is odd. It's supposed to upload. And while it's uploading, I'll go ahead and grab another shoe. That can do. Start getting it set up because you see it takes a while for it to upload. All these pictures, depending on your connection and what day of the week it is and how eBay's feeling that day, so forth. A lot of factors involved there. Okay, so, so the Wonderlofens. Okay, we'll get this all ready to set up. And you notice by just about by the time I've got it all set up, give or take a minute or two or a second or two, actually, there we go. We've got them all uploaded. And you don't want to push this until you've got them all uploaded. Make sure they all came up. That's the bad part about the app sometimes, is sometimes you're shooting with the app, it'll just 
it won't upload and you think it did you come back later and find out it didn't so all right so these are uploaded okay so i'm gonna find these Val walter loafers walter loafers whatever they are i can't say it but anyway we'll find them i think they're the only ones we have but we'll double check the number just to be safe three five nine three three five nine three good deal okay go ahead and open up the picture thing go out of that go back over to my camera again i'm just going to use my camera every now and then on this camera i double check it that's on pro and it still is so we're good okay all right so let's hit back on that all right so let's shoot one with the three here we go all right that one is to identify it this one is the first picture we'll do one of the insoles just to show it's in good shape i'm gonna turn this around and again this is a driving lock it has a heel there so i guess i would call it a driving lock okay and i'll shoot one from the back with the ruler pull this off to the side shoot this way you start to see why having a pattern you don't have to really think about what you're doing you can just keep doing it if you stop get interrupted in the middle you kind of know where you're at you know what you've done what you haven't done without having to go back and look at the pictures um i learned this and you know working for Olin Mills photographing children, babies, and families and stuff in high volume that you got to have a routine. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you're uh, a little hair on that. You want to do that. do that again? Where that came from? Let's do that one more time here. Okay, you got to have a routine to keep things moving and not have to because if you stand there and think about how you're going to pose it and everything else, unfortunately you're going to get behind. It's going to take you a long time to do it. So I, I do it this way. And again, I'm just peeking in here, try to find the, in the sizes. I do both sides. And I'm going to put this back in the bag. Tie it off. Spin around. Give it a spin. Tie it off here. And lazy. There's another one. There. And I'm going to grab another pair of shoes. Throw those up there for a minute and we'll go back to where um, our eBay app and we'll go here to select from gallery, hit more so I can get to it. Um, and then we'll select all these ones we just photographed, they should be the very top ones in an Android phone. And there we go. Okay, so we got all those and we hit open. Okay, and while that's uploading, again, save a little bit of time. Every second counts. Time is money. So what we want to do is go ahead and get this one set up. And even though this doesn't take tons of time to set up, it still takes a little bit of time. And you can be ready to go, ready to shoot. But you could theoretically keep shooting while, with your camera while you're doing this. But I just... Um, by the time I get this set up, it's usually just about uploaded. It looks like I've got like two or three here pending and two pending and we should be ready to shoot here in just a minute. So what we'll do is we'll find this Dansko. This is a Mary Jane's got the strap over here. Um, okay, looks like they're all uploaded now. We'll go ahead and back over here. We'll see if we can find this uh, Dansko. And I've got all those. Okay, so Dansko, Mary Jane, Flats, Red. That sounds like it. Let's go here and look at that. Okay. And let's double check the number real quick. 3588. We got it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the picture thing. And I'm going to come back over here to the camera. I'm going to get my first uh, shot off here of the number. Pull that out of the side. Do this. Do this. I'm going to do this kind of in real time so you can see how fast this can really go. Boom. This over here. Do this one. Do this one. And I like to make sure it's lit right. Okay. And whoops. Turn it around. And get one of the back here. 
Okay. And we want to do the sizes. The sizes sometimes can slow you down really bad. But so far tonight, we're having pretty good luck with it. So I'm going to try to get that to focus a little bit better. There we go. Size 41. It shows that right there. Here we go again. Size 41. It's a little clearer on this side. And we are done with that pair of Danskos. And they're going in the bag. Okie dokie. Bag them and tag them. All right, so here we go. Oops. Sorry, I keep bumping this boom mic up here. I mean, this boom camera. I'm trying to get in here real close to it so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so again, we're going to go back to our eBay app. Again, it's just routine. Okay, so we go back to the eBay app, click more. And we go ahead and wait for these to come in. All right, so I'll take that one, that one. Why does things take it so long to come in here? A off my phone here. And that one. Oh, no. Oh, you freaking idiot. Okay, you got, you got to be careful about this. You get your, my hand in there, so... I don't know if we can crop that out. Yeah, I think we'll just probably go without that one. All right. And again, if you do enough of them, you're okay. If you miss one once in a while, it's all right. So I could pull it out and shoot it again. But it's not critical. If it was the one of the two or something like that, probably I would. Uh, see it. That's the thing about going fast too. You got to be, you got to pay attention. And I think I'm trying to instruct and photograph at the same time kind of like me chewing gum and walking at the same time <laughs> okay so there we go all right so we get this one all set up ready to go here and it looks like they're all done right on cue okay so this is an echo brown slip-on of some sort so let's see which is white echo that's probably not it echoes gore-tex pumps just brown that could be it let's try that and again this is why we use the numbers because we have many many echoes or or, you know, what is that on there? Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay. All right, so let's double check the number. 3584, it's right there. Okay, we're good. Go into the pictures, come out of here, go back over here to the camera. And we'll go ahead and take our first shot. Not really need to frame that one real good, but okay. This one here, this one here. Get these in kind of real time. And again, you've probably seen these until you're really bored with this by now, but this is how we do it. Oops. Okay. Make sure your hands are out of the frame. Don't be like Dave. Do as I say, you notice know, I do. Okay, there we go. And this one. Okay, make sure that's good, and that's good. You can even do this on a tripod, and sometimes I do, but uh, for today we're just using the handheld camera. This could be your 35 millimeter DSLR or whatever you want to use, it doesn't matter. The, uh, the same concept, but I find with the phone it's just easier to bring them in faster. Wow. Okay, so let's see, oh, that's right, Echoes. You, once you know your shoes a little bit, you know that Echoes always have their their size on the bottom of them. So as long as you can find the size somewhere, that's at the size 39, it's European size. And boom. Size 39. Okay. And these are put back to back. Put them in the bag. And hopefully this is all capturing. So you can see what I'm doing over here. Just tying them up in the bag. Put in the done bin. Done bin photograph. Oh! Just kidding. Alright. All right. And again, with the sorry about the booms there. Alright. Uh, so, let's go back to our eBay app. Let's go into here. Get our very last photographs. Pick 
those, pick those, pick that one, pick that one, pick that one, and one more, and we'll open that, and we'll let that run. While that's uploading, we'll go ahead and get our next shoe ready. Looks like we got some pilot shoes, just kind of running shoes of some sort. <laughs> in put the number on the bag and we're almost done and there we go we're done all right so see we're not wasting much time waiting for these things to come in let's just see what i got here i got another notification oh, sold another pair of shoes okay good deal all right um okay so with these are the highlights or whatever highlights cross country cross training shoes that's what they are cross training shoes so all right we're going to open a picture up oh, probably should check let me just i'm pretty sure this is the only one of these we have but we'll just double check to make sure our numbers are right and everything 36 34 36 34 we're good okay now i'm going to go back over here okay and you know it's your business you can do it this way or not do it this way you can take a step mix miss a step of it um you know you can do it your own way however you want to do it it's just the way we do it and it seems to work out pretty good for us and we uh generally do pretty good with the pictures um i think most of our pictures are halfway decent we're going to still do some post-production stuff on this we'll show you that in a little bit and get one inside here And let's show you some of that. You got, you kind of got to. There's really eBay's compression algorithm just totally destroys your white background, even if you expose it perfectly in the camera. Um, it's still not going to necessarily be perfect, so you might have to tweak it a little bit. So, so anyway, here we are, shooting shoes, having fun. I love shooting shoes. I love them more than anything else I photograph for eBay because they're all similar. They're all, the, you know, got the same kind of routine you can put into them. It's not so true with clothing. Sometimes you can get in a little bit. You try to find patterns in clothing, but the clothing is uh, a little bit trickier sometimes. I mean, it's not hard. It's just different. Okay, so let's find the size in this. Oh, there we go. Big old eight and a half. I hope that's the size. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to come down off of that just a little bit. I actually hold my breath when I take a picture. It's from years of the way we used to do it. But um, I keep from moving the camera. And in this one, it's really important sometimes because it's just that little bit of shake in your hand or whatever might cause it to be out of focus. So. Okay. Let's pull another pair. Some Allegria, you can tell that through the bag. Okay, so let's go back out of here. We go again to our select from gallery, hit our new, and go ahead and get the latest pictures we took. And see, if they don't upload right, you can come back here and get them. That's the nice thing about having them on your camera as opposed to having them, uh, you know, uploading them through the app. So let that go while we set the Allegria's up here. Some fancy ones there, boy, i tell you. These things don't like to stay on my stand because they're flat. So you, know, you just have to finesse them a little bit. And sometimes using a little bit of friction of the two shoes together will, will be just enough to hold it there long enough for a picture anyway. Okay. So, Ready to go here. Okay. Looks like all these are done. 
so okay kind of here let's go ahead and find our allegrias highlight crosshairs all right allegrias are great shoes to find we don't find them a lot really i mean where we live it just seems like we don't see as many of them but anyway if you can find them get them there they're they sell really fast and real popular shoe okay so let's go back out of here let me go to the camera and again we're going to photograph the tag here get that out of the way do the two shoes together do one at the top of this thing here there we go all right now i'm going to be gentle here because these things yep, see they're going to want to slide they don't like staying on these stands Sometimes that's going to slow you down a little bit. I put the ruler right on the back there. Okay. Move you over. Gently move you around here so you don't start sliding again. Boom. Bring you over here. And there we go. All right. You slide now if you want to. That's right. And they don't have to be any particular place on the shoe thing. It's just to get them at an angle. The angle's the same no matter where they are. My hand back here. If it's staying on there somewhere, just leave it there. Because a lot of times this this thing will be out of the picture anyway. So. All right. So, Allegria. And this is where I'm going to use some creative standing here to kind of get them to stay up there like that boom okay all right that's why i think the size is actually they got there on the inside here the nice thing about it is this one you can just do this here ones that have these nice tan colors they're really nice to photograph these sizes take this off especially ones that unsnap put that back on there Okay, I'm gonna put you back to back here. And we'll put you in the bag. Okay, I'll we'll put you away. All right, and while we're doing that, come back over here. Get from our gallery more and boom 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 all right i gotta stop saying boom but anyway <laughs> at least i'm not saying bam i'll get sued by emerald all right and open those up grab another pair okay some sketcher shape ups another one that don't like to sit on our stands too much but i don't know they just have to put them back there you gotta do what you gotta do you know they get them to stay wherever they will they usually sit back there get the weight behind them like a seesaw there okay and our number and i think we should be just about ready yep okay and da, da, da. let's see there's our sketcher shape up black women's let's see if we got the right number because there could be more than one of these too all right our skew number this is in our custom skew field okay 36 36 okay good deal all right so i'll we'll open that up and we'll come back over here to our camera and we'll take our first picture of that i'll go ahead and take a picture of this Black shoes photograph really well. You'll find there's certain colors that you like better than others. White shoes, we're getting ready to photograph here in a minute. They don't uh, photograph as well. I'm going to have to kind of fake it with this thing here because I try to get this right about there, but I'm trying to put it on the stand, but this one's not gonna really going to fit. So we'll move that over. Okay. Now let's move this over. Same shots. One 
This is a weird shoe, so you want to play around with the angle a little bit just to try to find maybe the best way to make it look a little bit better. And get, raise it up, lower it down, get different. Yeah. And I'm not trying to do art here, I'm just trying to demonstrate the product, okay? I just want to make it clear. There's all kinds of... Uh, yeah, you want a good solid photograph, and you want it composed well, and you want it cropped right. But this is not fine art. This is just trying to sell stuff on eBay, so we don't need to spend all night trying to make it perfect. Get it as close as you can get it. Get it well lit, in focus. Um, you know, generally the color it is, because sometimes that's not always easy, but it's generally as close as you can get to it so that your customer knows what they're buying. And if you, you know, if you do that, you'll be fine. You don't need to, you're not going to win any awards for the photography on eBay. But it will pay dividends if you do it right. People will buy a product. So we take a little extra time to do it this way. And you could probably do more shots. You probably, there's a lot of people say fill up, you know, all the, Shots you could, we could, we could absolutely do more shots. You could do some different ones, but you know, that's up to you. Seems to work for us, but you know, as good as we can, as far as we know. Okay, so again, the select from the gallery. I've already got this queued up, so. Um, Taking a minute to come in for some reason. I don't know why. And this is one. That's one. There we go. Now, um, okay, so there we go. There's all of our shoes. All right, so, again, while that's doing, let's get another pair. I'm going to have to. That pair there. Alright, we'll go ahead and get this set up here. There's some interesting Playboy shoes. Literally, I mean, they're really Playboy. <laughs> okay. Good old dress shoes, men's dress shoes. They sit on the stand really well. I think the stand was really designed for men's dress shoes. One thing you may notice about my stands is that they're not the same height, I don't think. Yeah, they're not. They're, I, I could only get one set at the time, and then I bought another set I thought was the same one. They're pretty close, but they're not exactly the same thing. Anyway. So the stands are a little odd, so I try to make it visually look like I might have pushed one back a little further to make it look right. But All right, let's double check this here. We were... Okay, Skechers Shape Ups. That was them. All right, let's go to the Playboys. And there's only one of them, so I know about that. I'm not even going to bother looking at the number. Well, I will, because I want to make sure we wrote the number down right on it. 3633, 3633. Okay, good. So, go back to my camera. And again, I'm going to push the button there. And we'll get one of the bush shoes again up here and I'm doing a few of these because I want you to kind of see the routine you know it's it's one I see a lot of videos where somebody shows you how to do one set and that's nice but how does your workflow work you know how, what does it look like doing all of them and you see I can sit here and talk hopefully most of the time <laughs> and photograph these things at the same time and not really and I know already know where I'm going with everything I don't have to think about it I'm just once you've done this 10 or 12 or 100 times, um, you know, you're, you're going to be able to do this in your sleep. Or, or your routine. You can develop your own routine. It doesn't have to be this. You know, you can do whatever. I, I just, the, con, the, the, the principle is have a routine. It may not be this routine. You may do something completely different. It's not even the same thing not even close that's fine as long as it's your routine as long as you do it every time you know where you're doing things and how they're going and so forth and so on so 
All right, so put this in here. And Hugh Hefner and the boys to the Dun Bin. Dun Bin photographed. The next pair. Okay, I've been avoiding the white shoes, so here we go. I guess we'll do those. So, uh, we'll get that. I get a sip of coffee here. Alright, so. Back to our eBay app, select from gallery, see, I stopped to have a cup of coffee yet, know exactly where I'm at, because I can use the same routine every time, All right? So, boom, 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 let's get these. Playboys. Okay, I'll open them up. Open them up. All right, so let's go ahead and get these. Oh, so these aren't actually white. These are actually kind of pale, some color here. I'm going to tie these shoes here a little bit, I think. So. Yeah, we're uploading here. Everybody punches out of the video like I'm not watching some dude tie shoes. All right, all right, here we go. Get those lined up. This is where uh, we talk about white balance. This is where it's important. Okay, this is kind of a I don't know how it's showing up in the video, but it is a kind of a, let me make sure I know what this shoe is. This is a California uh, by Rockport. Okay, it's an odd Rockport. Never seen one that color. Okay, so we got a Rockport. I'm gonna go find the Rockport squash beige leather. Okay, they call that beige. It looks kind of greenish to me. I don't know. So let me have to think about that for a second. But anyway, um, I'm gonna double check the number again. Make sure there is a number 3637. Good. We'll go ahead into the photographs, and while that's doing that, we'll go over here to the camera, and let's shoot again. All right, so we'll bring it in here. Okay, and this has kind of a, to me, it has a green tinge to it. I could be, you know, I'm a guy, so my color is not as good as women. Uh, I think that's scientific, actually. I think women see better color than men do, for whatever reason. But I know my wife sees better color than I do. Let's just put it that way. So, yeah, Marie sees much better color than me. I can't distinguish as well as I would like to, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. I think, yeah, we're still in the pro. Okay. And I'm going to look at this picture for a second here. Yeah, it looks kind of dark, but I think when, when we do the post pro on it, it'll be fine. Um, okay. Come out of there. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably, let's shoot like this, sometimes I'll do this too, is maybe pump this up just a little bit more. We'll do one like that just to see if it makes a difference. All right. All right. And let's do her. Okay. So that's that. And let's see, where are the... The size. Oh, it's on the tongue, so untie our shoe again. Just hold it there, crop it out my finger. There we go. So hopefully this overhead camera is capturing how we're doing this, but you see, I'm holding it like right there. But I'm cropping it right there. Okay. All right, we'll put you away. All right, that was kind of a pale green uh, colored shoe. 
at least in this light, so it looks like to me. So we're gonna go ahead and again go back to our eBay app and upload these pictures. Select from gallery, do that. Okay. No more pictures. Boom, boom, boom. Open those. We got our notes. And next set's white. So. <laughs> so the camera there. Okay. All right. Let's get these white shoes out. Oh goodness. Okay. These are Echo Soft. Alright. White shoes. Again, if you're you know if your white balance is correct. Yeah. We're gonna actually probably start doing these on black backgrounds, I'll be honest with you, but uh it, it's they're tough. I mean they really are. So let's go here. I think we're done with those. Let's see what else we got here. Alright. We got some echoes left here. Echo white walking shoes. That sounds like them. Oh, Alright, let's double check the number. That's 3590. 3590 is correct. Okay. And go ahead to the photos. And go back over here to my camera. Alright, so anyway i'm going to pump the again on these i like to push the white up on it i like to expose these just a little bit high just a little bit not too much 0.6 over okay and i mean oh, we got to do this here let's try that again not sure i think that was okay okay this server Brewer. And it's very possible with talking and being distracted and such that you could miss some shots. And I may have missed a shot or two. I might have missed some ruler shots. I'm not sure. To look at it when we go back to edit it, I'll figure it out. But but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. These, none of these shots are mandatory per se. Um, I like to have certain shots in here. Heels are very important so people can see what the bottoms of the shoe really looks like, what kind of wear it is. This is, again, Echoes. Have, knowing our shoe, we know that it's 38s on the bottom there. 38s on the bottom. Let me get a better shot than that. In the orientation, you can reorient them however you want to. All right. Okay, so that's it for those. I will put them away again. That wraps up this video. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.